Hey, it's Jeremy here, brand designer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool negative space logo in Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do when we think of a negative space logo is you wanna think about the white space and the black around it. You wanna try and think of, you know, a simple icon that can fit within a letter. And you wanna make it easy by choosing a sans serif font. Typically that's easier to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first get an image. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Google. For me, I typed in goldfish cause I'm doing a fish logo. And all I did was copy this image and I'm gonna paste it like this. So now we've got a fish. Now I'm also gonna type in fish. I can do uppercase, which is probably easier. And the reason why is because I have more space to play with, especially within these letters. Now I'm gonna create this uh, nice space within the S. So I'm gonna just duplicate this and I'm gonna create outlines. So I'll go to type and I'll go create outlines. So now this text is expanded and I'm just gonna press control G to ungroup it. And so now everything is ungrouped. So we have our typeface, it's a simple font. What the font I picked was actually BW Nista Geometric. So it's really geometric, sans serif, clean, easy to use. And I just find it a lot easier, especially when you do uppercase letters. So what we wanna do is you wanna make a simple silhouette of our icon. It can be any animal, you know, it could be a bear, a deer, you know, a tiger, whatever it is, keep the images very simple. So I'm gonna press P for the pen tool and I'm gonna to start to trace over this fish. So I'm just gonna click and drag over the shape here. I'm not gonna to go too crazy with the detail. I'm literally just clicking and dragging creating the points as I'm going through here. I can edit the handles as I go along. And I'm just looking at the shape as a whole. I'm just looking for the main shapes here of the goldfish. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna make sure that the lines are very clean, very sharp and easy to notice so it's very noticeable when we come up to this point cool so now i'm just going to shift to the fill and now we've got this goldfish shape i'm going to duplicate it now we've got this shape now also we can do a little eyeball so i'm going to press l for the ellipse tool make a circle and we can just put it somewhere like that that looks fine cool now what i like to do is i'm going to select it press shift m for the shape builder tool shift m and then hold Alt and I'm gonna left click and minus off that circle shape. So now I basically cut it out of the shape really quickly. So I'm gonna duplicate that again, just in case I make a mistake. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna edit this um, a little bit. It's too, too long. I'm gonna make uh, too thin. I think that looks good, cool. So I'm gonna grab this shape. And now what I wanna do is I wanna use the S shape. Now the reason I'm choosing the S is because the other shapes are a little bit harder based on their, their structure. So we have this space in the middle here. Let me just get red here. You can see we've got like this nice space and it allows us to create some sort of image like that within these spaces here. Um, a B letter is really good. You can do something within an O letter. A P or R is great because it's got an enclosed space. So those are the type of letters that you want to really do it. Now what I'm going to do is I want to scale the fish down. I'm going to bring it in like this. Now what I'm going to do is make it white. So I'm just going to eye drop it and make it white. So now I can sort of see how it's looking. I want to find a nice balance between the black space and the white space and not make it too big. We don't want the fish to come out of that S shape. We, we want to scale it down and make it fit within this nice spine that the S has. So I'm going to sort of maybe line up the bottom of this fish because it's very circular and round to sort of this lower section here of that of that S shape, as you can see there. So that looks really good. Now I'm gonna bring it to the right a bit, like this. I can scale it a little bit up, just like that. And I think we are looking good. I'm gonna bring it a little bit down. And I think that looks brilliant. So I'm just gonna duplicate this quick. So what I can do now is I can left click and drag a box and I can actually use a shape builder tool again. So press shift M. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plus some of these shapes. I just want to make sure that my, my eyedropper, my swatch is on black, as you can see. Now, I'm going to select this again, press Shift M. And all, instead of holding Alt or Option, I'm just going to left click and plus these shapes here. So you can see these like little shapes. We, we, want, we want that because it makes it more distinguishable and distinctive. So we plus that. So now we can see that it's clearly defined. We can see the fins there because before it was sort of blending with the background. Now it looks a lot more better. It looks more cleaner. Beautiful. So obviously as you zoom out, you can't really see the eye. So I think maybe I should make that eye a bit more bigger. So what I can do is left, make sure you select the white selection tool, which is the direct selection and click the circle, then press V. So press A, click, left click, press V, and then I can scale that up. So I think that looks a bit better. Yeah, it looks more clearer, beautiful. You can also like maybe make it a little bit more oval shaped if we want to. So that looks cool. So I can actually leave the logo like this. I'm pretty happy with it. But what I have to do is just clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna select this. Now you can see we've got all these shapes here. I'm gonna use the shape builder tool again. And I'm just this time I'm gonna hold Alt and just minus all these white shapes like that. And this one too. So now it, if I duplicate this, you can see that the shape, it's there's no extra shapes. It's all just one clean shape. If I press um, Control Y, you can see there's no th there's uh, not that many anchor points, which is great. And just like that. And obviously this little black circle here, we have to unite them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the S and for me, I'm gonna go to my Pathfinder tool on the right here and click Unite. And this should make it a group or a compound path. And you can see now if I move it, it takes the eye with it, which is awesome. So I'm gonna just duplicate this again. So now we've, we've cleaned up everything, it looks really cool. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is a compound path. So object, compound path, make. My shortcut is F3, so I did that. Now I'm gonna go select a nice blue color. We're gonna make a bit of a background here. And let's go to the color guide and we're gonna find something warm and cool colors. So I like maybe this blue, that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna put this over the top. Just like that, and we can make it white. And we'll do another version with the blue. And we'll make it like a bit darker though. Cool. And that's how you make a negative space logo. This is just a simple way of creating a negative space by using a fish shape inside a letter. And we can, you know, play around and even add a, another little shape up the top. So what I did before, you can see I did this shape here where I just duplicated the fish and I flipped it. So then I had two fishes just like that. Now that's pretty cool as well. So I can make it blue like that. So you can do so many things with this logo. Hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the, in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful, if it was practical. I try to make it as simple as possible um, to make it a negative space really simple. So that's how you make a negative space logo. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Smash the like button and remember to subscribe for more brand identity and design tutorials every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll chat to you in the next video.